Borada and welcome to the InstaSim channel. Today I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. In the last episode, we went to Herbology and I think we did something with the moth as well. And in this episode we're going to find our way to the potions class because we're going to do probably the worst lesson that, I'm, that, that uh, exists in this probably, I think. I have no idea. In fairness, I've never actually done the hot potions before. I've never played the game before, so, you know, as it were. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be like, but I don't like the potions in Harry Potter, and as far as I'm concerned, I probably won't like the potions class in this either. But yes, we might as well make our way to potions. Eh, it's close enough. Let's have a little bit of a walk, shall we? Around. I just love the fact that we had a flat cap on during that lesson. I like how it shows up in the cutscenes too, that's just amazing. And it just makes us look like a proper like farmer in the actual herbology class, that's brilliant. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. <laughs> it would make him look completely incompetent, but we already know that he's incompetent, so it doesn't matter. Right. is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. So just like Professor Snape, he tells us strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Right. So he's not going to really look at us. He's just going to kind of, you know, sit at his Please desk. Be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Achoo! There we go. Right. Are we supposed to drink it? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me right. when finish brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. So Professor Shab just drunk our Professor uh, our Wiganwell potion, so he probably feels better. Bring me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Right. Uh, 
Collect Ashwinder eggs. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Kareth Weasley? He's well shrey! <laughs> uh. Why do you want to know? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. Uh. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor? <laughs> She's my aunt. <coughs> Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. She's got CCTV cameras in his bedroom. Full size brain can brew an endurous potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. Uh, Just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. Oh, You're no. as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. <laughs> what happens? I don't know what to respond to that. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Whooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. <sighs> Fine. Very well. I'll bring you a Fooper feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. If I get into trouble for this, I'm holding you accountable. Keep your potion stations organized and pre Right. Mongrel fur. A Fooper feather. And what's this? Memorandum date 31st of December 1875 from Aura Office. Boring and. Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours. Particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Uh, given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more Aura to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions, further instructions to follow. Ha. Huh. So he's an Aura. Oh, we just dropped some books on the floor. Anyway. A well prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on <laughs> Here, dodgy <laughs> dealing time. <laughs> Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your endurous potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. I'm not looking forward to this. Should you chop the didney or crush it? Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Right. Ruined Edurus potion. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Uh oh. Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -oh. What? Uh oh. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. <laughs> what on earth? What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be point from Gryffindor again. Hooray! We made him lose points. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's on to us! <laughs> uh. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping <laughs> brew chaos. Oh no! I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. <laughs> you will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. 
a rare occurrence. <laughs> and you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay, he was on to us. I think Great. each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Ah, oh, boy. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. You got me into trouble! <laughs> Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. I don't think so. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. No, 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 no. Fewer getting me into trouble. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I am not doing that again. Okay, let's get out of this class, shall we? Oh, my robes are going to reap from Garrus inspiration for the rest of term. I don't, don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Like him, but they don't. Black only looks out for the pure blood. He couldn't care less about the rest of us. Yeah, so he's a racist too. Okay. Oh, great, great Quidditch gloves. Where on earth am I going? That's a good question. Anywho, let's go and do the next quest, which I believe is to meet with Natty. Which is 500 and whatever, something, whatever the units are away. I think we could probably get a little bit closer. How do we get to there? There you go. Right, that made that took us halfway there. I guess we have to walk the rest of the way because we obviously can't drive. At least it's a nice day. Is that Hagrid's hut? Hello, goat. Oh, I can't actually pet the goat. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this actually Hagrid's hut? Oh, we just stole 50 coins. That's okay then. And we stole extra, a few extras as well. Oh well. What was that? Rebellion. Oh. Groundskeeper's tools. One might surmise that the set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cosy hut as large as the occupant may need. Yep. And that looks like a lantern. No, I didn't want to set that on fire. Okay, that didn't work either. <laughs> oh, that's what I want to try. Where's those chickens? Oh, wait, that's the goat. Can we set the goat on fire? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can we set the chickens on fire? We can set them on fire, they just run away. <laughs> what about the pumpkins? Okay. That's enough flames for one day. I should investigate. 
Investigate what? Oh look, there's more magic mushrooms up there. There we go. There she is. It is good to see you, my friend. Very good to see you too. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well. But I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Uh, I think we can trust Natty. So I am going to tell her. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. <laughs> he brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Oh, Is that the dear. magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, Naturally. it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Uh... Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. I Rookwood like it. That Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. Good. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Right. I will. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Uh... Interesting. Right, we're gonna go and help the stranger. Because we have that to do for some reason. Okay. you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Uh... <laughs> I just turned one of them into a chicken. Oh, what's the 
light go out of your eyes. The collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type, but you may learn valuable insights. Okay. Oh! I don't think I'm the one who's made the mistake here. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. I have no idea. Nora Treadwell. Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Uh -huh. Who's Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant ah, potion, Hufflepuff! Has shop in ah. Nocturne Alley. <laughs> She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Cool. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. How extraordinary. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. How oh, very fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Uh, sure, why not? I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. Oh, that's what's in that trunk. trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Uh, don't mind if I do. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Right. Oh, I'm here. My word. Oh, see that? The vines disappeared. Oh, what should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Well, there's something on top of them. 
Lumos. Nope. Incendio. The flames make the pyre sink. Ah. Okay, that didn't work. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Huh. Do I have to do them in a certain order? Hang on a minute. Or is it time limited? Incendio. Clearly, all three of these fires are meant to be lit. Yes. Haha! What a day! I can hardly believe it. Well, that's certainly interesting. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Good. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit. Which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Cool. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Hopefully those thugs don't come looking for you again. Right, we have new quests. Tell Professor Fig about the map chamber. But we'll do that in the next episode because this video is now like very long and uh, yeah. Anyway, so in the next episode we'll return to the castle and we'll go and tell Professor Fig about stuff I guess. Because that's I think is what we're supposed to do. But in any case, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Hope you found, I, I hope you all found it entertaining and if you did not forget to like the video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel and we will to get more videos like this. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and on Twitch, and as always, I will see you all in the next video. But until then, goodbye.